the only security. Verily my Sabbath ye shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am the Lord that doth sanctify you. Exodus 31, 13. Let everyone seek the Lord for himself. Eternity is before us. You cannot afford to let another day pass without taking your position on the Lord's side. Will you not act the part that God has appointed you to act in the closing scenes of this earth's history? It is impossible to give any idea of the experience of the people of God who will be alive on the earth when past woes and celestial glory will be blended. They will walk in the light proceeding from the throne of God. By the means of the angels, there will be constant communication between heaven and earth. And Satan, surrounded by evil angels, and claiming to be God will work miracles of all kinds to deceive, if possible, the very elect. God's people will not find their safety in working miracles, for Satan would counterfeit any miracle that might be worked. God's tried and tested people will find their power in the signs spoken of in Exodus 31, 12, 18. They are to take their stand on the living word. It is written. This is the only foundation upon which they can stand securely. Those who have broken their covenant with God will in that day be without hope and without God in the world. The worshipers of God will be especially distinguished by their regard for the fourth commandment. Since this is the sign of his creative power, and the witness to his claim upon man's reverence and homage. The wicked will be distinguished by their efforts to tear down the Creator's memorial to exalt the institution of Rome. In the issue of the contest, all Christendom will be divided into two great classes, those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus, and those who worship the beast and his image and receive his mark. Fearful tests and trials await the people of God. The spirit of war is stirring the nations from one end of the earth to the other. But in the midst of the time of trouble that is coming, a time of trouble such as has not been since there was a nation, God's chosen people will stand unmoved. Satan and his angels cannot destroy them, for angels that excel in strength will protect them. Thank you for spending this time with me today. I hope the devotional has touched your heart and inspired you to walk closer with God. As we close, I'd love to hear from you. What stood out to you in today's message? Was there a verse or thought that resonated with your soul? Please take a moment to share your reflections in the comment section below. Your insights might be exactly what someone else needs to hear today. And if you found this devotional encouraging, don't keep it to yourself. Share this video with a friend, a family member, or anyone who could use a little extra hope and inspiration. Remember to subscribe to Mighty Lamb if you haven't yet, and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss out on our daily devotionals. Until next time, may God's peace and grace be with you. Stay blessed and I'll see you in our next devotional.